Now, I've been looking forward to this all day. DKIT offers a Bachelor of Science degree in Augmented and Virtual Reality at both level seven and eight. I'm joined by Charlie Behan, who is gonna show me all of this kit involved. Now, understand, Charlie, a or VR, it's kind of taking over tech, it's kind of taking over a lot of industries and taking over a lot of people's lives as well. And I cannot wait to try out this, you know, a demonstration on these. Before we do though, I have a couple of questions, probably one you get an awful lot. What is AOR and what is VR? Yeah, of course. So, uh, yeah, it can get pretty confusing because uh, the, they're always mentioned together. Yeah. Uh, I like to consider them kind of like a spectrum. So, starting with virtual reality, so these are the two headsets here. Um, to consider it, you're putting on a, a screen right over your eyes, a, goggle, a pair of goggles, I like to call them, and then um, you're in a complete virtual world, um, so it's nothing to do with the space that you're currently in. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you've got augmented reality, so they're more like just regular glasses, and then only certain s virtual items are augmented into the real world, so as if you see a virtual thing placed on this desk. And wow. that's kind of the, the spectrum. And there's a lot of things in between, like, uh, for example, like your phone, you can use augmented reality for your phone. And a popular use case is on uh, Snapchat. I was going to ask you the, emo the, the kind of uh, filters you can go through. And exactly. Have, like your Memoji or Bitmoji running around the table and things like that. Yeah. Amazing. So that's what the augmented reality do. Yeah. And so then the VR is kind of more of a screen and you look around to the left and stuff like that. Why, where, where did your love for this kind of stuff come in? Yeah, well, when I was younger, uh, I just loved playing video games. Mm. And uh, just uh, I got an interest in like, learning to, like, how, to, how to make them. And then that got me into the whole uh, 3D modeling design and graphics on computers. And then, um, yeah, just uh, going through, I found this course. And then it le led me to uh, this technology. And uh, it's made very similar to the way video games are made. And uh, so, yeah, that's uh, why I just wanted to continue Amazing. learning more. And what are the elements that you study in this course? Yeah, so there's a load of uh, variation. and. Um, there's a lot of different types of skills that are needed. Um, so it's not one person can do the whole job when it comes to this sort of technology. Um, but you've got the programming, so the technical, the logic of applications. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the 3D graphic design. But then an important thing is uh, user experience design. Uh, so designing for your users. Because uh, this technology is quite new, people don't really know the correct way to do it. So when you open a PC application, it's the screen with the X in the corner. People don't really know what the application should look like in these headsets yet. Mm. So uh, there's a lot of design. In terms of, um, I know Apple, or I think, are working on an augmented reality type of glasses. And I know Google did it beforehand. It didn't massively take off. Why do you think not? Do you think people are m maybe not ready for it? or? Yeah, it's, it's really hard to say. Yeah, because um, what Google made, Jeez, I don't know how many years ago it is now, but Google Glass. Or Google Glass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people are still making glasses like that today. Yeah. And, um, but yet, yeah, Google didn't really take off when they did it. Uh, one example with those is that I would actually consider them smart glasses over augmented glasses because mm. they're not actually aware of your space around you, and it's an overlay on your dis on your space. So that's like another example on that sort of spectrum between AOR and VOR. Right. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting to see what Apple is going to release. There's yeah. a lot of news on that. I'm, ex um, I'm excited like about that. Yeah, it's going to be a, maybe a mix of both, and it could be connected to your phone as well. And so, what about you know, say for example, Teslas, you know, self-driving cars? Would that be more augmented reality or virtual virtual reality, or would that actually, be neither? <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. So it's very different, but um, it uses a lot of the same technology as uh, augmented reality. Right. So um, just like a Tesla, uh, this HoloLens would have the same sensors and LiDAR sensors that are picking up the space around you and creating a, a 3D mesh of the room that you're in. Mm. And then that's how it's able to place virtual objects. So that's the same thing that's in a Tesla car detecting if there's cars around you or not. Amazing. Yeah. What are the kind of aspects of this course that you just love? You know, what are the main kind of maybe subjects that you love or the main skills that you pick up? What do, what do you love about it? Um, I like a bit of everything, um, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't say I'm too good of a programmer, so I do like to design, but yet I do a lot of I was going to say, you sound more a bit like a creative kind of techie than a, maybe a computer nerd techie, if you, if, you, if you get what I mean. Yeah, maybe a little. Like, to be honest, when I was in school, I, I didn't do art. I wasn't good at art, and I wasn't good at maths, so I don't know how I got up here. <laughs> but, um, um, and I, I heard, I was, I was reading last night, that you did you create a game or something that was released on Steam? Oh, yes, so yeah, just What was this game? Tell me about that. Uh, yeah, so again, using uh, different, the same sort of modules that are in this course, so like 3D modeling and programming, I put them together to kind of make just like short game experiences. Right. And then eventually it was able to just put a bunch of them together and release this, like one game online commercially. Amazing. And um, yeah, that was a great experience to kind of release something out to the public and get the feedback from uh, people all over the world. So fantastic. Really interesting. Has it been downloaded a lot? or? Um, well, my commercial one has been downloaded it's the okay amount, but uh, the free ones, they get a lot of downloads. Amazing. <laughs> That's <laughs> fantastic. Is there a lot of um, practical or project work in, in a course like this? 
Yeah, a lot. And that's quite kind of why I loved it. Um, I was never really good at uh, exams or written exams or just learning theory. Same. Uh, yeah. So this, this course was great because uh, and a lot of it is actually group work as well. Mm. So you get to kind of like wherever you fall short, you can find someone in the class that uh, can build you up there and you can work together and build something. And it's a uh, much better output than just working by yourself. Yeah. And then, of course, they do give you a lot of freedom in this course. Like, what do you want to make? You can do you want to make a game or do you want to make a more traditional application, something that is a productive app? You know, like, for example, like we made like a horror game for our VR experience, but like some other people in our course, they made like a golf, golf simulator oh, to wow. improve people's swing. So it's like really interesting. And it's just like, that's where their interests lie and this is where ours is. And we just had full freedom to go wherever we wanted. Isn't that, um, that is so cool. What do you want to do after? Um, well, actually, yeah, I'm working in A or V or at the moment. So I, I, I work with a, just a variety of companies and particularly manufacturing companies and showing them uh, how to use A or uh, in a like a machine area mm. and improve their productivity. So it sounds right. kind of like yeah. this this area is is kind of especially careers wise. It's just growing from strength to strength. Like it's just growing every day. Yeah, definitely. Well, there's a lot of like uh, people don't really know where it's going, mm. uh, but a lot of people are betting on it being quite big in the future. Like the, I think the biggest news I always compare like reference is uh, Facebook or yeah, the Meta. Yeah, they're universe. called Meta now, and they say they're hiring ten thousand A or V or engineers. Uh, in Europe over the next few years. So like wow. just that alone is insane. That's unbelievable. Now, I, I, I feel like I've talked enough. I really want to try this on now. So yeah. I just stick it over my head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so the application should be uh, running. So uh, just once that goes on there, it should load in and you should be in front of a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's like a, a house, like a kind of creepy looking house. Exactly. And if you just put up your hands there, I'm going to hand you these two, two controllers. Oh, just like you that, should, is it? Yeah, you should be okay. able to see them in your hands there as well. Yeah. And oh then, my god, um, I've got a phone. Yeah, yeah. So the, the idea in this game is you're a, you're a live streamer that's uh, looking to get some social media fame. Okay. And you're, you're coming up to this haunted mansion and you're streaming on your phone to see what scary things you can capture that will uh, build your fan base online. This is just, it's just so real to my real life. <laughs> and I bet I look really cool right now as well. So that's, yeah. a, that's such a bonus. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. God, that is so cool. I love that. I could stay in here forever. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes uh, I get the, I get carried away, and it's like you put the headset on, and it's like daytime, and then you yeah. take it off, and it's dark time. It's, to be honest, it's a little depressing. But it's really, it's <laughs> really weird, like hearing your voice because when I look, you're not there. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it, that is so so cool. Uh, I I feel like I feel like oh, once you take it off, it's a little bit um, jarring. Like, oh yeah, it's like oh god, right back in the real world. Yeah. Um. Now if I look sexy in that, wait till I put this on. Um. But uh, this looks interesting to me. My yeah. God, that so is just cool. There should be something on the back as well. Oh, that's a snug fit on you there. Yeah, is that all right? Yeah, that looks good. So as you see now, you can just see as you normally would. Yeah. But now there's, uh, there's applications on here that you'd actually be able to overlay on the real world. So this would be like, imagine you're walking down the street and you've Google Maps on. Yeah. And now you'll just see the arrows showing you where to go. Oh my God. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of it's <laughs> neat. There's a lot of thoughts of it and it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Behan, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. No and that was so cool. Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks for having me.